Folks, it's helpful in web design to make things template based. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you a, a web page that I'm working on here. This is the New Carolinas Healthcare System Blue Ridge, which I'm working at, but still in its kind of infancy stage. But uh, I got all these elements on top up here in this navigation could possibly change at any point. Some of these drop downs, things could be added to this at any point. We might change icons. I don't know what else. Also, this footer down here, all these, these links and things might change at any point. Most of this stuff inside here in the middle, though, would not change. And so it would be cool to make these things into templates, and that's what we typically do when we're doing web design. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this um, so that we have this static and the bottom static and the middle editable. And then every page then, if I have to make a, as long as it's built off of the template, then any change I make to the header, the navigation, the footer and all, will, uh, will change on 50 web pages or 100 web pages automatically. And that way you don't have to do it on every single page. So the way I do this in Dreamweaver is I'm going to pick a page that I know is not template based. I'm like, uh, I've got one here called Valdez Hospital. And so here is the page. And of course, uh, it's going to come up maybe in code view. It does. I'm going to show it to you in live view so you can see just how the page looks. And so there it is. And you see it has the header and the you know, logo and everything and at the bottom. You have your footer and all that. I'm going to go into code view. And I'm using a template called... Um, Canvas, which is a great template, by the way, for HTML5 bootstrap type uh, type template here. And so uh, the thing that's really cool about this template is it's all commented out really well. So you can see here where the uh, people who've designed it have put these, you know, the document titles here. You got your document wrapper. You got your header and all that. Here's all the navigation now. A lot of times I just line my navigation up. You usually see a hierarchical type setup. I like everything straight. I'm just weird that way, so forgive me if it looks kind of odd to some of you web designers. For those of you who don't work in code very much, you might appreciate this though, that it's easy to follow. So here's the top search, everything. Here's the page title. And then here is where we get into the meat of it, where it says content here, right? And content goes down and it ends down here where, my, where I have my footer commented out. So here's the. Uh, the, where the content ends. So how am I going to make this in this page into a template? It's pretty cool. It's very simple actually. You just say uh, file save as template and it's going to go into my template file here. I'm going to call this template2. I'll go into this right here. T-E-M-P-L-A-T-E dash 2. And say save. Okay. Update the links. Yeah, I tell it to update the links. And now so what I want is that there, I want to make some little zones or regions that I can edit and then the rest of it I want to pull from the template. So every time I'm, I make a new page, I'll make it from that template. It'll have the header in it, it'll have the footer in it, and those things will remain static unless I go change those on the template. All I have to do is change the template and any page made from this template, there might be a hundred pages made from this template. If I change it in just the template itself, then it will make those changes to the header, footer, or any other element that I want to make that's, that's static in the template. I can change the template, change it to changes 100 pages. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create an editable region, it's called. And so I know that one of them, I want, I want to be able to change the document title. So I'm going to kind of like uh, go over the top of this. And I'm going to say insert uh, template. And I'm going to say editable region. And I'm going to call this uh, title, doc title. Okay, we'll say OK. And so now it put a thing in there. It should know. We'll, we'll, we'll check this in a minute, see if it did it correctly. Now I'm going to go down here. I know that I want the header and the navigation all to stay the same. That's going to be part of the template. But I want the content. See where content is commented out here. I'm going to highlight every bit of that all the way down here to where this section ends. Okay. And the footer begins. The footer is going to have the bottom navigation and links and everything in it, not navigate. Yeah, links. Anyway, so I'm going to say insert. Uh, template and I'm going to say editable region here and we'll call this uh, content. Say OK. Boom. I'm going to save this template file. Save. OK. It's template 2. Now I'm going to uh, close this for a minute. I'm going to say file new and I'm going to be a new document. I'm going to make it from the template, right? And I could pick different ways to do this, but if you go to site template then you're going to see in the templates, here's my new template, template 2. So I'm going to say create. It's going to give it just an untitled name here. But look at this. Everything that was in color in that code a while ago is now all white. Except you see right here, I can change the title, right? It's inside an editable zone or region. 
So I could hear the Valdez Hospital, I might call this uh, Future Hospital, I don't know, we'll call it Future Hospital, might build another one. Ah, F-U-T-U-R-E, Future Hospital. And I'm going to go down here to where the content is, and I can change all this, all this is in color, so if it's in white, it means I can't change it, it's locked in, it's part of the template, the template that is the template for all the future things. But I might go in here, Carolina's Health Research Blue, we'll call this Carolina Health Research Valdez, we'll call it Future Hospital. Right. The reason I'm doing this, only reason I'm doing this is so I can, you can see when the page builds out that it really did work. So here we go. I'll say file, save, uh, save as. Let's call this uh, future hospital. You could save it as un untitled too if you want to, but typically we're going to give it a name, right? Future dash. Say save. Okay. And I'll show you how this works, uh, or how or how nicely this has worked. So I'm going to connect to our web server here, and I'm going to upload Future Hospital. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and upload Template Two too. I don't think it will matter. Yeah, I guess it will. The Template Two has to be in there, has to be uploaded, so we can change it in the future, right? So the t upload your template as well. So I'm going to go over here to the website. And if I can go here, I'll do future hospital. And I hit enter. And boom, here it comes. It says Valdez Hospital. But it really is future hospital, it says right here, right? And up here on top, we see it is future hospital. Uh oh, I have this doc title up here. Okay, that's not supposed to be in there. So I have to go in there and get rid of that. And I uh, see how I'll do that. I have to go up here and fix that. Uh, somehow or other I ended up putting that in there. That's going to be up here. Do you see it, folks? Doc title. That didn't need to be in there, did it? That's just what it's calling itself. Let me say save here. And then I'm going to go and re upload that. So let's go to Future Hospital again. I'll upload. Hopefully it goes. I come back, I do my refresh, and now doc title is gone. Now, just so you'll know, uh, it, you can build a hundred pages, two hundred pages, five hundred pages based on that template. Just go to that template, make that template, and make your new page from that template. And then uh, all this content in the middle you can change. You can switch out any pictures you want to, you can change all the text, you can put all your Google Maps, videos, whatever you want in there. It will only affect what is in these editable zones. And then let's say that some of your one of your VPs or something goes, you know what? We need to put a new section under contact. Let, let's put how to fax people on that. See, so that way you don't have to go and you don't have to change 200, 300 documents. You just change the one template and you put that in there, uh, the new fax number or whatever. And it changes it on all the other pages. The Dreamweaver will automatically take care of that and you don't have to do it. Hopefully, that's helped someone. I, I need that kind of advice a long time ago when I was building pages. I built a page with or a site with 50 pages in it and I didn't know how to make templates and I would end up having to do a whole lot of editing to the footers and the headers go in and switch down every page. Pretty convenient little tool to use in Dreamweaver CC 2015.5. Peace to all the watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.